Guys, are you able to see my screen? Online report. Okay, thank you. That's seven, right? So in the last session, we discussed about uh, how to create the master detail relationship. So here, the corner scenario is whenever we are creating master detail relationship with two objects like A and B. Forget about this situation, A and B. So if A is a parent of B, that means A is a parent, B is a child. In that case, in the B already having some records in the b that means child record child object in the child object already having some records then it is not possible to create the master detail relationship to the a right why master detail relationship means it's a mandatory so already in the child object already having some records on the top of it we are creating the what about that mandatory field so that's the reason system will be rejected. Okay. So what is the first approach? I all told you the first approach is we are removing Where is the delete all the child records, then create master detail relationship. But practically it is not possible. Why? Right? If it is a 10 records or 20 records, that's fine. Delete it, take the backup, delete it, and use it. But in the real time, this is not good. Why? Because in the real time, so much of live data will be there. That means client data. If you are deleted, those guys are didn't accept. So in that situation, what we will do? First of all, create the, what about that? Lookup relationship first. Lookup relationship, then map the respective data, then convert the lookup to master. Okay. So whenever you are mapping all the records already, that lookup data is already there. So while you are converting lookup to parent, it is taking care the data is there or not. Yes, all the data is there. In that case, it is accepted. Okay. That's what we discussed yesterday. Now, one more scenario we already discussed. What about that? Roll up summary. Okay. What is the roll up summary, guys? Roll up summary also one type of data type. But we are observe one situation. What is the situation in patient? So in the patient and in the lookup, right? Patient and dog, uh, hospital. Patient and hospital. Where is the patient? This is the patient. Click on new. Now see, this is the patient. It is utilizing the hospital information. But it is a optional relationship optional means it is a lookup so to view without going to the schema that means without going to the object definition we are easily say that whether it is a lookup or master how based on optional or mandatory see here this is a patient object in the patient object hospital is a optional that means it is a lookup understand this is a patient object doctor is mandatory that means it is a master detail relationship that means one child with two parents okay but that means understand right this is the one object child object one child object utilizing hospital and doctor that means two parents but the two parents are different 
Understand? The two parents are different. Why? Hospital is look up. Doctor is what? Master. Okay. So like that, you need to create so many. But I will tell you there is a limitation. I will tell you. But meanwhile, now we are achieving through uh, two relationships. One is look up. One is master. Both are created as we discussed. The Salesforce people introduce the two types of relationships. One is lookup, one is master for avoid the data redundancy. So we are achieving that. Okay. In the way we are creating the lookup, there is no issue. But while we are creating the master, you need to observe whether the child having the data or not. If the child having child, the, there is no data, then it is directly created. If the child having the data, then you need to create first lookup then convert the lookup to sorry first you need to convert the lookup then map the data then convert the lookup to master okay clear guys okay now here please observe whenever i am asking the relationship patient and hospital lookup patient and doctor master okay now come to other situation what is the situation we already discussed patient object in the patient object please understand in this architecture we already added some there there is uh, here see here this is our patient this is our doctor this is the master the green one is for example this is the green it is a lookup okay so this is the final diagram of our data model as of now patient we are connecting to doctor be using master patient we are connecting the hospital using lookup okay now patient is a child respective of doctor patient is a child respective of hospital okay hospital is a parent respective of patient doctor is a parent respective of patient clear right so which one is child which one is parent right now we already observe one scenario while we are creating in the lookup relationship what is that patient and hospital in the patient and hospital patient is a child mm -hmm. so go to the in the both the situation patient is a child guys okay so go to the patient here click on the role of summary data type disabled so now please understand in the patient already having two relationships one is parent relationship one is sorry one is master data relationship one is lookup even though patient having two relationships but still role of summary is disabled understand as a generic way forget about the patient it is a child right in the child object always what about that role of summary is disabled clear right even though in the child object having lookup or master in the both the cases role of summary is disabled why i will tell you okay role of summary is disabled why i will tell you later clear so that means here role of summary is disabled I, it is not a field but it is a data type right so yeah, here I just added what is role of summary I will tell you guys now okay but as of now it is a data type okay role of summary disabled okay role of summary disabled in the patient object even though the patient having master or lookup or both clear so in the interview those guys are asking this question guys okay so i have a one child object can you tell me 
child object means it is having look up or master so then the guy is asking i have a child object can you tell me what about the role of summary situation what about the role of summary it is visible whenever that guy say that it is a child object role of summary always visible clear even though it is a look up or parent this is the proof understand now come to already hospital we already checking look up here also role of summary is disabled right here also here also roll up summary is disabled hospital okay now only doctor is there what is the doctor doctor is a master detail issue now go to the doctor where is the doctor doctor how to go to the fields guys don't go to the setup and object something we have a force.com menu access you feel now check the data types click on new okay it is enabled when we'll see as per diagram this diagram very very important guys so here here role of summary is enabled this is the but as of now we did this so one object having two parents so one object having two parents means that object always child in that case one data type is missing what is that role of summary so two parents what is the first parent hospital but what is the relationship look up in that case role of summary is visible that means whenever two objects are connected with the look up the parent object also always role of summary is visible again in this situation whenever we are connecting two objects with the master detail relationship then the parent object having role of summary is enabled in the parent object when this one hospital also parent doctor also parent but it is connecting through master detail relationship then only role of summary is enabled this diagram very very important guys if you possible take the screenshots okay why because see guys while you are learning anything for example if you are going to the interview just check this diagram don't go to theoretical we are not a kid okay oh here patient is a child doctor is a parent hospital is a parent so how we is a how we say doctor is a parent it is a master relationship how we is no hospital is a parent it is a look up so when it is enabled whenever two objects are connected through master detail relationship then the parent object okay the parent object role of summary is enabled only that field is missing then we are find out when it is enabled when it is enabled whenever for example a and b two objects those days are asking hey i have a x and a y object okay i have a x and x y z object in the interview those guys are like asking like that only okay x y z so x is a child of y and z that means patient now y is a connecting to the x with the master relationship z is connecting to the what about that x to look up then tell me in which situation in which object role of summary is enabled then x you can understand oh x is a child forget about that child why because the child object role of summary will not enable so now y and z y is connecting to x through master that means the y case y case role of summary is enabled understand like that you need to apply the concept guys okay don't buy hard it understand simple two objects connecting with master detail 
then in the parent object role of summary is enabled clear okay why we are discussing this role of summary okay what is the purpose of the role of summary so role of summary is one type of data type data type if you see patient doctor patient and what about other hospital hospital now see hospital is a parent but it is a lookup so role of summary is disabled for hospital patient it is child child always role of summary is disabled patient is a child role of summary is disabled now doctor doctor is a parent but required right what about that uh, master detail so clear right now what is the purpose of role of summary first what is the purpose of role of summary very very simple guys we know the concept those con that concept these people are added here what is the role of summary means for example second So, for example, this is a spreadsheet, guys. That means it is Excel. Everybody knows, right? Excel. Why we are using to capture some data and store some data, right? For example, I have a. This is a serial number. I have a candidates like A, B. These are the student names. Assuming that, okay? Why? Because I don't want to enter different different names. Now, these are the our employee names oh only a and b yeah sorry A B C D. Something like that. The data is there, guys. Okay. Now, this is the employee name. Assuming that. Okay. Before software, actually, still so many companies are using the to capture the details using Excel. Still, 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 guys. So here, so. so here employee salary so this guy salary is 30000 this guy salary is 50000 this guy salary is 20000 80000 120000 this guy is 45000 This guy is some seventy thousand. Okay, this is the data, guys. I think we have a thousand records. This is raw records, right? As we what technical way, it is a record. Okay, so already employee information is there. This one company related. Maybe it is a thousand employees are there. Different different names. So employee ID is also required. Forget about that. Now my intent should be. So for example, I am the admin. So my manager asking, Hey Ashok. can you send me how many employees are working so how many employees means maybe here we know eight forget about that this row is not there that means i required the count right count of the employees so then what i will do here i need to add one function what is the function count function 
So here, that means this is my table. This is my table. Within that, I need to enter what? Where is the function, guys? Here, count. Count is a one function that will be what about that? Task? Summarize the total information. So go to it is going to the table and check how many records are there. So that is the purpose of count. So how many records you entered? So now count is equal to where to where here to for example yeah here like this. It is not written. A count is equal to A2 to to A G. A8. Why guys? It's not working. For example, how many persons are there? So, count. How many? Seven. So seven members are there. This is the count. So count is a one function which is already provided by the Excel people. What is the purpose? It is summarize the total data and how many entities are there. That means based on your information, it is taking how many entities you are entered and summarize the information. Total numbers are seven. That means total employees are seven. Now my boss is asking, hey Ashok, can you tell me this month how much you are, for example, some people are joined, some people are left. So how much salaries we have paid? That means we required employee salary sum. So as of now, we are using count for C-O-U-N-T, count. What is the purpose? To get total records, right? Count is a function we are using to get the total record. How many records are there? So this is not Salesforce guys. It is a general. Okay. So that's the reason. First of all, understanding the existing concept, then apply into the come to the Salesforce. Okay. Now the second one is what is the second scenario? I rec so to, in this month, how much salaries we paid? Okay. My boss is asking. Then what do what do you say? So come to here. You can apply the which function? Counter. Count is the entities, sum. How much it is? 4,15,000. That means sum is a function. Sum is a function. What is that? The purpose of sum is to get total sum of particular data right particular data what is that salary data we are using sum for example that they say that hey out of our total employees what is the what about that who is uh, which guy getting more salary that means who is the maximum salary again apply Sorry, four is the total salary. Uh, now, one lakh twenty thousand. This guy, E guy. That means here we are using max. Max means what is that? Purpose to get max salary. Okay, that means maximum data, uh, max salary. Now, I required what is that? Minimum. Then you can apply minimum. So then we are using minimum. Understand? So assuming that these functions, these functions apply on our 
data. Within the data, we are applying based on one particular entity. What is that? Salary. Right? Count. Count may be you need to apply on the name. So how many names are there? Seven members. That means seven is a total count. That means seven employees are there. Sum. We are applying on salary data. Total data. Out of total data, I am applying the sum function on the salary, whatever that column. Max. Out of total table, I'm applying the salary, what about the term? Maximum salary means I'm applying the maximum function on salary. Minimum, same. That means every function, these all the functions based on one particular entity. Entity means one particular column. So in the sales force, that is called field. Right? For example, you need to create the employee table. How to create that? Employee name, employee salary. So in the sales force, we call this a Employee name is a field. Employee salary also field. Understand? These people, Salesforce people also provided these functions. These functions come under role of sum. Role of summary. Understand? So role of summary is a data type. Within the role of summary, these functions are there. So, how we can apply? For example, our scenario is go to the hospital. Here is the hospital. See Apollo. If you open that Apollo, already three members are there. I required in the Apollo hospital, how many members are, how many patients are there? I need this total count field here in the Apollo object. Total count of the child records. Understand? So, in that case, we are using, what is that? Roll up summary under count. Understand? For example, in the Apollo, I required, so these three people, right? For example, thousand people are there. Thousand people are there. Okay. Thousand people, how much they paid? That means, as of now, how much we are getting from the patients? That means already in the patient, in the patient already, for example, here, what is that? For example, here, fees is there, assuming that. Fees is there, assuming that. Now, total sum of fees. That means three members. One guy is uh, cardio, that means 1200. This guy is uh, neuro, it is a 50, uh, sorry, 1500, 1200, 700. I need that sum and add that total, what about that uh, getting amount is equal to what about the sum of child required. In that case, we are using roll up summary sum. Understand? But please remember, can you tell me here roll up summary is enabled or not in the hospital? In the hospital is a, as per our diagram, hospital is a lookup. That means roll up summary is not possible. That means uh, these functions are not applied. Now go to the doctor. Where is the doctor guys? Yeah, doctor. Now open the doctor. Open John doctor. Under John, how many people are there? Two people. Now how many persons are reach to the John. In that case, we are using roll up summary. Why? Because in the doctor, in the doctor means it is a master detail relationship. But doctor is a master. So that's the reason roll up summary is enabled. Whenever roll up summary is enabled, then in this object, in the doctor object, we are getting the all the child information count, all the child information, whatever the term. Sum, if any field is there, all the child information minimum, all the child information maximum values, and display in the parent level. Understand? That is the purpose of the, what about that? That is the purpose of roll up summary. Okay, guys? Now, now see, guys. Yeah. Now, my intention should be here. This is the doctor, right? How many pairs? Each and every doctor. How many doctors are there, guys? Here? 
This is the Dr. John, Dr. Peter, Dr. Vinay. So Dr. John, how many patients are there? Two. Peter, three. John, one. Now, I don't want to see, go to the, uh, hey, how many persons are there in the Dr. Venai? One. I don't want to see the data. Why? Because the data may be after one year. Uh, for example, these guys are the CEO or someone, uh, we are providing the, whatever, we, are, we will give the appraisal. At that time, so per year, how many patients are visited to the particular doctor? Based on that, right? So, these people are going to the uh, open the doctor visit and how many patients are visited. Those people are not counting like that. Directly, we will create one field. What is the field? So, count. That means patient count. Understand? Patient count on the which object? Doctor object. That one is automatically summarize the all the patient count and display automatically. Understand? That means how it is possible through through roll up summary okay so first of all whenever you are creating roll up summary functions first roll up summary is enabled or not you need to check it so in the doctor already roll up summary is enabled right see this is the doctor already why it is enabled why because it is a parent object this is the parent object, roll of some reason. Okay, so now I am creating one field. What is the field I required here? In the doctor, I require total patient. Total patient field. So whenever you are adding the patient, automatically, for example, now one. Whenever you are adding one more patient, then two. One more patient to the Vinay, three. One more patient to the Vinay, four, like that. If you are deleted, one patient is deleted. Then four to three. So automatically it is counted. Why? It is a roll-up summary function. We are not doing anything, guys. Understand? Now, I am creating that field. See, this is the doctor, right? See, roll-up summary is enabled. As we discussed, roll up, under roll-up summary, how many functions are there? These are the functions. Now, see. Don't want to, yeah. So, this is the patient. Roll-up summary is not there. Delete it. Don't require, don't require, yeah. This is the doctor. My requirement is, I want to add the total patient to the respective of doctor. Okay, now in the doctor, I need to create one field. Understand? Now, go here. Under roll-up summary, we have a function. What is the field name first? Total. Patient, total patient, total patient in the way we say two, adding one more, three, we are deleting one more, again two, like that, it is automatically counted. Okay, now total patient, field name here, next. Please remember, we are selecting the roll up summary. So that's the reason, see, this screen is coming. Understand? So this is the roll up summary, doctor. Doctor having how many childs, guys? Doctor having how many childs? Only patient. Then means it is going to the patient and get the count. So here, see, here, for example, doctor having three whatever childs. Assuming that. In that case, in the drop down, those three childs are coming. But as of now, only one child. What is that? Patient. Under patient, what do you want? Under patient, I required count how many patients are there. Count. Click on that. That's it. So, particular doctor, how many patients are there? That count, I need to store my field. That's it. Next. Visible to all. Next. One second, guys. I got the call.
Okay, guys. So, see here, I all told you total patients. We require total patients on the dog project. What is that? This is roll up summary. Okay, roll up summary means how many patients are there. The patient count is fetching automatically displayed. Now save. Now see guys, open doctor, any doctor, Dr. John. Total patient, how many? Two. But see, it is a lock. Lock means we are not calculated. The sales force system automatically calculated. Why? It is a roll of something. For example, you are open. Other one. Vinay. Sorry, Vijay. Vinay. How many? One. Other one. Peter. Three. For example, I want to remove one Rick card. This guy. Four. Delete it. That means this guy, unfortunately, assigned to who is that guy? Peter. The, but this patient is belongs to some other doctor. Then we can delete it. Then two. So that means here the system goes to the file record and get the count. Why? The total patients we are using roll up summary count function. Understand? So count function means it is going to the child patient and get the count. Clear guys? So this is the purpose of the, what about that? Uh, roll up summary. Roll up summary is a data type. Okay, under roll up summary, we have a four functions. What are those? Count, sum, max, minimum. Count means get the all the count of the child records. Sum means get the specific field sum of the child records. Sum means sum max minimum always we are using the, what about that uh, number, right? Sum means see Ashok, sum Venai, sum Vijay. We are not sum the text, right? We are sum the only amount or numbers. That means this sum max minimum always, what about that? We are using which type of data? Number data or currency data or date. Date also, for example, who is the maximum date? I will show you. So for example, in the same case, see here, this guy, right? APL001. Uh, I need to add data, guys, first, one by one. See, this is the first record, second record, third record, fourth record, fifth record. One is we are already deleted. Huh? Okay, see, see. So here, I have added birthday. Birthday means 24, uh, 19. 87 something okay this is this guy birthday and this guy already having this guy already march 28th 20201 this guy data birth is this and where is that other one data birth this guy april 14 1990 is in that. So this guy date of birth is something November 23rd 1957 is in that. Is old? Okay. Now see guys. So this is the data. Okay. Now go to the patient. In the patients, here I will introduce one more concept, guys. Why? Because see here, we are able to see all the serial numbers in the here. I want to see which data birth is maximum. That record I required here. Okay. In that case, you need to open individual records. It is very difficult, right? So here we are able to see all the serial numbers. Same like I want to see the name. I want to see the data but i want to see the required information okay so how to add the column in that table this is the table right it's in like table so this is called in the general word it is the table normally in the salesforce point of view it is called a list view it is a list of records view generally it is a table guys in the salesforce point of view there is a word generally we call the object right normally 
sorry generally it is a table in the sales force point of view object same like generally it is it is a table in the sales force point of view it is called list view what is that by list view it is a list of record we are viewing the data so that's the reason it is a list view so you need to modify the list view guys by at a time we are able to see only one column i want to see some other column see uh, where is the for example i want to see the uh, which uh, date of birth is max so now you need to open individual record it is a big effort right so instead of that i want to add date of birth column so direct oh this guy is max mess then open the record without open the record understand guys so that means you need to modify the list view list view is a table guys okay you need to modify this list view how here edit edit is there click on that now here this is the list view name all that means all records all patients now here filtered by i don't require any filter as of now see here select field to display that means in the table that means in the list view what type of field you want to display i required name patient name and i required date of birth where is that date of birth i required blood group also some cases okay and i required doctor he is belongs to which doctor understand now save it search we will tell you understand guys so now oh which date of birth is max here 87 57 oh 57 is a max without open the record i am able to see that means we are saving so much of time understand so this is called list view this is called list view understand why list view it is a list of records we are viewing the data that is called list view understand again i will tell you how to do that here edit see normally patients when we are open the patient it seems like this here there is a go button click on that go like this okay by default if you click on the go without modification it is display only serial number now click on edit select fields to display whatever the fields you want you need to select here and save it such understand so this is the list view for example i required not all the records i required only blood group is a positive that means you need to apply the some filters okay so in that case for example i am creating this a all records this means all list view i need my own list view why because see here blood group all are different huh? okay see guys the main advantage of list view is for example you want to update the blood group here okay if it is a for example 10 records you want to update at a time you don't want to open the record just for example 002 and 005 both are having uh, ab positive blood group then this one this one here see there is a pen icon click on that what is that ab positive here see the record clicked or you need to apply the all two selected records i required selected two records what is that 02 005 That's, that is the beauty of what about that uh, list view for example these two you need to update that these two people are related to o positive now what do you say so reload it yeah now select that select that now what do you say any record open that column then o positive select all records here two records in the real time we have a 10 records or 20 or 50 at a time you are updating okay this is called this feature is called inline edit why because we are editing one column it will be applied to all the selected calls this feature is called inline edit okay 
so where it is there in the list view understand so that is the one purpose of list view now guys see here again come to list view again again come to the list view so by default all see only one column is decided click and go so not this one patient right sorry patient by default serial number is displayed click on go now whatever we are already updated the field those are displayed but you can select manually allow otherwise we have a other approaches like data loader for example we have 10000 records in the 10000 records we need to update different different way in that case it is not useful why because different different people having different different uh, what about that blood group in that case there is some other approach like data loader some other things are there you need to prepare one excel for oh, this guy is a plus this guy is b plus like that 10000 record then all the data you need to upload to the one tool that is a different approach but limited record this is one way understand yeah. now guys cfc in this case i don't required uh, i required group wise what about that uh, list view group wise means i required o positive group o positive patient only i required ab positive patient only i required a positive patient only that means i need to create one more list view i want to see all the how many persons are there o positive that is my the client is asking hey can you create one i want to see only o positive data that guy is asking o positive patient means you need to create new list view understand all list view already there all means all the patients now click on new what is that o positive patients o positive patients why guys plus is not come here Type name. I'll tell you. Face is replaced with the underscore. Special characters are eliminated. Okay. See. O positive. O plus. Plus is not come in the type name. Okay. Forget about that. Now this is the first step, guys. It is optional. What is the step? Filter by additional fields. What is the filter? We need to display only which patient blood group is O positive. That means click on that. blood group select the blood group equals to click on that what is that o positive that's it that means for example 10000 records are there it is filter which patient blood group is o positive those fields only display those records only display so that means in the list view based on the condition you are displaying the data see now which records you want again i want serial number and uh, uh first name right name blood group already there okay blood group date of birth i don't require in this case for example contact number and he is belongs to which hospital and what is, what is that you say blood group just for confirmation this list view different field the uh, view is different okay now see i am creating the what about the list view name what is the condition for example you want to add one more condition you can add okay then what type of fields you want to display on the table that means in the list view same now see o positive o positive how many persons are there only two persons now we are in this drop down all patients o positive some people are asking hey can you send me the list of o positive how many patients are there two how many patients are there this one like that you need to create based on your requirement for example i want to see only what about the senior citizens list senior citizens means what about that more than 60 right you need to filter that so like that guys this is the list view concept understand now see for example this is the date of birth right this is the date of birth in the doctor point of view where is the doctor in the doctor point of view this is the doctor 
here only one patient is assigned beta here two patients are assigned sorry that sorry doctor huh? here how many patients three sorry two so doctor vinay one patient doctor peta two patients doctor john two patients now in the doctor he needs to know which patient whatever the maximum is for example in this doctor having 1000 members in that 1000 which patient the date of birth is max that means who is the older one older one that guy date of birth i required here older one means how to get the older one man so already in the patient for example here thousand patients are there how to get older one date of birth max ah huh? max means guys please understand the reality for example here date of birth is 23rd 3 2022 hey now is the future okay so okay 2020 this one date of birth guys forget about the technical knowledge if you know the minimum common sense it's very easy self for this so that's the reason i told you there is no pre required skills here just for whatever we are already did in the academics like maths or physics or chemistry you can apply the those concepts here this is fine for us okay now this is one more two six 1990 okay tell me guys mm, okay before that 20 normal day okay 20 50 For example, I am applying max here in this two. What is the max value? 50, right? Please use your common sense. 50. If I am applying the minimum, then what is the value? 20. Clear, right? Come to here. If I apply the max, what is the maximum value? Tell me now. If I apply the max value, which one is max? 2020 or 1990 1990 yeah max means see guys see forget about as a human calculation it is a machine right it is self for system is it the machine machine don't know it is a date of birth or something maybe our assumption is this is date of birth but machine point of it is just a date okay max date which one is a max date maximum date they are maximum number 2020 max date means which is a maximum date means uh, which is the highest date 2020 this is a number guys 1990 is a what about less number compare with the 2020 so system point of your max is 2020 understand but uh, that's the reason i'm taking this example guys so many people are confused in this case system point of it 2050 max is 50 why because clearly it is tells us 50 number 20 is a number 50 is a number we know as a human being it is a number system also treated as a number so 50 is a max value but data but forget about the data but it is a data date point of which is going to the uh, which is the maximum data 2020 maximum date means our point of view what about that it is a anger understand max max date means in our point for example that guy is born on 2020 max so system if you are applying the max function here max function it is getting 2020 date that means and if you are applying the minimum function that means what is the minimum number 19 19 it is a minimum number it is not saying it is not the system don't know whether it is a date of birth or it is a target date or whether it is a closed date something system don't know we are adding some label right 
so system is not a human being it is a machine it is taking which rate is maximum which rate is maximum 2020 but our requirement we required so system return 2020 value 2020 means 1990 is the youngest uh, older one or 2020 is the older one 1990 that means this is sorry this is old year older older data body this is here we don't required any rate sense guys our common sense is required here okay anger data part understand that? now tell me in our case in the particular doctor point of view i required what about that older data part that means who is the older for example um, 1000 patients are visited to the john out of 1000 who is the older one that means who is the senior citizen something like that older one In the older one, which function we need to use? Older one, minimum. But as a human being, as a, our agency is minimum means less number. But data part is it is a max. Understand? So that is the confusion, guys. So that's the reason here in the technical way, in the sales force or whatever, in the logic point of view, you don't uh, what about uh, first apply your common sense, then go to the system. Okay? So in this case, so many data parts are there. Max means system treated maximum number. So this is the maximum number. Maximum number means maximum year. Is doing that. That means maximum date. Maximum date means 2020 is the maximum date. Maximum date means he is a newly born. You are not newly. 2020 means okay, two years something, right? So he is a younger one. But for us, we required older one. Older one means we need to apply the minimum function. That's the reason I'm taking this example. Understand? Minimum function. So that's the reason, guys. Whenever you are doing anything, first of all, put it on the paper. What is the? So forget about the technical knowledge, guys. Whatever we have, normal common sense, you can apply the common sense. That's enough for us. Okay? So now tell me, if you want to get the older data, but you can apply minimum on the roll up summary field. in which object doctor object where is the doctor this is the doctor create the field what is the field name older data bus click on new where is the data okay older data bus of child record so roll up some bit now Older data part. That means it is going to the all the child records, all the patients, and get who is the older. Now, here confusion is older means which function we are using? Okay, patient. Go to the under doctor. Go to the patient. Under patient, which function? Minimum. Minimum of which field? Data part. that means go to the we are telling to the system hey go to the patient and check the minimum of data but minimum of data but means older understand yes. again same story see older roll up number see now open the first doctor when i only one guy is there what is that 1990 why here this patient only one patient one patient means one whatever the value is coming see 003 patient related data but only one patient is there now go to the other one who is that guy peter peter having how many persons two two patients Within that two, ninety fifty seven is coming. You see, we need to check that older one. Zero zero one is older. Zero zero two is older. Zero zero one eighty seven. Zero zero two fifty seven. Clear, right? So our unit test class uh, test case also task. What is that? Minimum test case, right? What is that? In that Peter point of view, two patients are there. We are getting the system getting fifty seven. 
57 means just check that 87 is there, 57 data birth is there. That means 57 getting me, it is a older one. Clear? So now we apply the minimum, oh, sorry, whatever the anger. For example, you can, oh, here it's not possible. For example, there is one use case. What is that? This one. Create one object like this in your way. Okay? I'm not creating. What is the object name? Employee object. Within the employee, as per our common sense, what is the field? Sir? Employee ID, it is the auto number. Employee name, salary. Enough. Now you can apply all the functions. How many persons are there? You can apply the, sorry, employee, right? Employee means, see, this architecture, how you can design. This guy is a employee. Okay, you can practice it guys, employee. You can create one object. Within the employee, what are the fields? First, as per our common sense, uh, employee, always we have a tag, right? So, employee ID. So, what is the data type? Number of. Employee ID, we are not entered. It is automatically generated. That means, what is the data type? Auto number. Auto number is a data type. Next. Employee name. Next, don't record my salary. These are the so name is a text field. Then salary is a currency. Now, okay, employee means this guy already working with some particular company. For example, that means if you are adding the company details, data redundancy is coming, right? For example, the company is IBM, guys. So, 1000 members are there. I'm adding all the 1000 numbers is belongs to IBM. That means IBM, 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 the data is repeated. So, data is repeated means it is a data redundancy. That's the reason you can avoid the data redundancy. You can create the repeated data in the respective object. So, that's the reason I am creating one object. What is the object? company. So what is the company name? Just add company name is enough. Same like our hospital. What is that? For example, com company is a name. Text. Now create one record. Company is IBM. Add the employee 1 data, employee 2 data, employee 3 data, which is blah, blah, blah. Now you need to connect these two. How to connect? We required in the company point of view, how many employees are working? How much salary per month? How much salary we paid? What is the maximum salary? What is the minimum salary? So that means we need to use roll up summary. If you want to use roll up summary, that means these two belong to which relationship? Master. Like that, you need to analyze guys. Okay. Everybody creating the object, everybody creating the fields, everybody doing the mapping, everything. But how to create? What is the purpose? So you need to analyze in the business level first. Understand? So now you can add, you need to add the master. Whenever we are added the master, so employee using the company information. That means employee is a child, company is a parent. That means the way to roll up summary is enabled. Company. So here you can create roll up summary fields. What is that? Total. Total employees so it is a roll up of what is the function count that means for example here you are creating like 100 records so here in the company point of view it is the ibm ibm point of view employees automatically 100 is coming then how many what about that total salary total salary Total salary. That means, what is the function here? Again, roll up R. Okay. Roll up. What is the roll up summary function? Sum of employee of which field? Salary field. Same like minimum salary, maximum salary. Understand? You can create that. This you can do your own work, guys. Okay. Take the screenshot, this one. Okay. Yeah, I think uh, that's it, guys. Today's session. Guys, anybody having any questions? Online people.
online people anybody having any questions will help for certification venkateswarlu see certification is completely different okay so if you are doing the certification we need some business scenarios everything okay so course is not suitable for certification guys that is completely different so many people are promising like whenever i am teaching that my course that is enough for certification even me also if i want to attend any certification i need to prepare some different different blogs that is completely different but i will help you not now okay don't think for certification now why because certification means if you are expert in the area particular area then you can do the certification but we are expert me see learner beginner learner after that like you are just beginning then mid level what about that mid level average then expert something like that okay so there is so many stages are there guys but we are not waiting up to expert level if you require any certification i will help you okay not now one for example we have a three part guys i all told you in the start thing so in the what about that in the starting i explain you right three layers yeah there is that there is a guy okay here these are the three layers right currently we are here this is 33.3 percentage this is 33.3 percentage this is 33.3 percentage so now currently here okay only point and click once everything go then we are going to the logical layer this is called what about that uh, we are using apex something then ui okay once this is done whenever we are here then you can start preparing the certification but don't concentrate on that guys i will tell you okay i will help you for certification by creating one second uh who's that guy can we one second one by one will this helpful for certification i already told you nothing from my side okay thanks hello good for access for video good for access video ram i didn't get your question in the course velocity mahesh see guys in that course velocity is completely out of guys even me also don't know okay sales force having so many clouds if you are for example for me out of 100 i know the only 10 to 20 percentage the see one guy didn't what about that learn all the clouds guys all the things why because sales force is a ocean so based on you were one see we have a basic things are already there which is suitable for learn the different different areas for example in my i am the solution architect in the reputed company i am handling around like eight projects okay so eight projects for example it is a uh, sales cloud project so i know the sales cloud for example the new cloud is coming for example this guy says that new soft or well as something at that time so the project is come then i need to what about that uh, do the parallelly what about that learning and apply those concepts here so for example if you learn everything in the sales force you can you will become a mad we are the human beings guys we are not learn everything but i will tell you how to we have already documentation guys for example if you are learn some new stuff you don't want to go to the some area so okay, all the documentation is there how to do that that type of skill i will provide that for example lighting or lw something like that every whenever the whatever the new thing new features are coming you go for example you are going to the whatever that uh, some issue or something you can learn the new things that is every four months the new things are coming in the sales force that's the reason sales force became a, so much of famous right so whenever the new features are released you are, you must learn then in that case you are going to the you need to that is not it is a trading that means up to your older then you need to learn those things you need to go to the issues don't like that don't do like that whenever the new project is coming it is a different cloud then you need to understand for understanding purpose we have some basic skills guys 
basic skills, whatever the new, for example, now, whatever the LWC is coming. So for that LWC, I don't want to go to the institute. So parallelly, whatever I know, the basic concept, I'm applying those concepts in the LWC. Then I learn. Now in the future, there is some more framework is coming. In that case, I don't want to go to the institute. What is the documentation? Go through the documentation, apply my basic skills. That basic skills I need to provide here. Okay, if you are learning each and every concept, you need to go to the institute. It is very difficult. Why? Because we have so much of guys. And also one guy didn't learn all those clouds. Whatever the project is coming, at that time, based on the project, you need to learn that. It is taking like five days or seven days or ten days or one month. In some cases, our whatever the companies will be providing the uh, what about that uh, training as well. Okay? Yeah. Now look uh, we can use custom functions. Yes, Omkar. See, I all told you, right? Yes. See, custom functions in the admin level, there is no custom function. But there is a other way, I will tell you, Omkar. Uh, Daya. Yeah, Daya, you can contact to one member. Uh, who is that guy? Sham. Okay, those people are providing the, what about that video access, which is free. So you can ask to them. I cannot unmute myself. One second, Salim. Uh, Sitara, guys, guys. By creating new custom object is visible, so that I am not able to add. I think Sitara, the prop, guys. Right? Please. By creating new object uh, disabled, so that I am not able to add. That means you are creating the not developer edition. So this is the edition you need to create. Then it's fine developer dot i think i already provide the documentation guys see i will show you it's back seven right back seven seven thirty yeah guys please update your data here so many people are uh, who are having the video access please update here your data whether you are having the video access or not otherwise you will miss the some things okay Please, who are having the already drive access, go to here, offline student, online students, update, do you get the, what about that, video access or not, okay? Please update SR now, okay guys? Why because otherwise you are miss the document. Okay, now, see guys, these are the two documents I already uploaded here. I already provided one link, guys. This is the link. Click on that link, then add the data, add, create your user. Then you can able to create whatever you want. Sitara, I think, right? User. Mm. Okay, sir, today is my first question. Is this in marketing cloud? Is this SFMC, yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know, Kumar, what you say. Marketing cloud is different. I told you, so many clouds are there, guys. Sales cloud, service cloud, something like that. So we are covered sales cloud, okay? Sir, will help for certification this course. No, see guys, so many people are offering the certification courses, which is a waste of your money. Certification completely different. Don't join the certification related courses. I will help you if you required. Not now. Once this, I all told you, right, that 67 percent whenever we are entering the UI, at the time I will tell you, you can prepare accordingly. Uh, in which company you are working, sir. So I am the ex-employee of Salesforce guy. Okay, now I am working in one reputed company, but I don't sell as a solution architect. Okay. Hi, sir. My creating custom object, the new custom object is visible mode. I all told you, Sitara, you can use this link. Sir. Yeah, Daya, I all told you, you can contact to system admin. Okay, those people are providing the access, the video access. Evening, guys, I have only 7.30 to 12. I all told you guys, the minimum time is, guys, again, I will, I will again tell you, the minimum time of our class is one hour, maximum is one and a half hour, sometimes two hours. Okay, that is the minimum, but two hours not possible for me. Okay, even though you, you have a time, but minimum one hour, maximum one and a half hour. Okay, the time is fluctuated. That means sometimes one within the one hour, our topic is completed. Sometimes 
more than 15 minutes or 30 minutes. Okay, that is the time. And also I told you already, I'm not following the A order, B order, C order, D order. Okay, based on the requirement, what about that? I'm picking the some concept and explain. Understand? So finally, I covered all those concepts. Okay, now. Guys, I all told you these documents, these documents are, there is no share, what about the sharing access and the download access. Why? Because this is the so much of effort for me. Okay, it's not only one day or two days. It is a years of uh, what about that uh, effort. So if I am giving the download option within the five minutes in the Amirpet, this will be available. Okay, so that's the reason we are sharing the, we are just uh, viewing the document. This link is validated, valid up to one year. Okay, after one year, you, you can take the screenshot or preparing the notes. This is only for reference guide. Okay, on the top of it, every class, I told you, this is the interview question something. At the time, you can note down. And also, this is the diagram. You can take the screenshot and put it one document there. That is helpful for you. Understand? Both the documents you need to cover. And for developer edition, also getting same errors, sir. I think you are doing something wrong, Sitara. Will this be class tomorrow? Tomorrow is Sunday, guys. Monday to Saturday. Saturday is optional, guys. Some cases Saturday class are there. Some cases Saturday not there. But five days class are there. And one more thing, every month at least two holidays are there for me. Why? Because every month I am dealing with around like eight projects, guys. So that's the reason every month, uh, Friday or Thursday, I have a deployment. So that's the reason. Sometimes there is a sorry. Sometimes uh, the hypercare some issues are coming with the production. I need to jump into the calls. At that time, I will inform directly. For example, today seven thirty class. So I got the call at seven. Please uh, join the call. So that is the uh, high priority. In that case, I will inform to Shyam sir. Those people are informed to you. Okay, that is my consideration. Okay. So every month at least two holidays must be there, guys. That means twenty days classes not 20 days, four days, holidays, these two, maybe may not be, but minimum two guys, okay? It is not mandatory, but every month. That means overall six days, holidays, the remaining or whatever classes. That means 24 classes must be there every, what about that month? Sorry? 21st, huh? 31st, 31st, there is no class. It is a Vinayak Chavati, right? There is no class. Doing the course is possible for that job. Yeah, guys, I all told you, whatever I explain, you can get the feedback from the old guys. So this is suitable for as a pressure up to eight years, guys, up to eight years. To be honest, it is not a marketing, guys. If you see, whenever I joined uh, Salesforce, not Salesforce, I landed Salesforce in 2010 at the time. I paid 20,000, guys. Now you paid 8,000. There is a myth that the, the Nare Society, those people are, what about that? Uh, uh, it is 8,000, right? 8,000 means three months. Three months means how much it is? 2.5 thousand, uh, 2.6, uh, 2.6, right? 2,600. So even my kid, I paid around like per month, 7,000 per LK, UKC. Okay, for what about that? Uh, uh, home tuition. But compare, so forget about the fees, guys. Why? Because the Nare Society, told to us like uh, we are whatever reaching to the poor people as well. So that's the reason we are handling the bulk. So my qualification, I all told you, I have 10 plus years of experience. I'm working with the sales force around like more than five years. After that, I'm working with the startups and uh, small companies. And now I'm in the one reputed company as a sales architect in the client side. Okay. So this is my background. And also I'm working with the product side guys. Product side means the framework side and everything in the sales force. Okay. So, Whatever I explain, I'm not explain. For example, I'm not uh, what to copy paste the code and explain something like that. I'm writing the code, but here we cover so many things, guys. So that's the reason we are concentrated the admin very low level, guys. Why? Because I all told you in the starting, every developer can do the admin work, but every admin cannot do the development work. Understand? So that's the reason you need to prepare your mind as a developer, not admin. Understand? So admin is a so in the real time, there is no admin concept, guys. In the real time, you are working completely development, 90% of the development. Whenever one object is created, this is five minutes work. That is not a different work. Okay, those people are not giving, hey, can you create the object which takes like uh, three hours? Those guys are not adding the as a task. 
you can create the object that's it it is there is no specific time but development is mandatory so you need to tune your mind development is there okay you need to prepare your mind guys so i'm working with uh, i explain the real time scenario how we are achieving that at that time how to go to javascript how to go to the uh, like css something like that okay you don't want to learn all those things i will explain you see guys as a developer you need to at that particular situation how to utilize the other domain information that's it if you want to learn that thing so you are suitable for what about that real time and also i told you out of 100 percentage 80 percent of the people are fake in the sales force why because so many people are migrating in my team guys around like 80 members are there so 80 members out of 80 only 10 percent that means eight percent eight members only eight percent is eight people is what about that uh, real time employees all remaining 70 people 72 people are fake but why you guys are hired why because we are showing in front of the client okay this one guy is what about that uh, uh, doing the all the things in front of what about that we need to show the uh, client this is my team then give the project otherwise the project will be gone so that is the current situation so last i think uh, i all told you last one month we uh, we want like two people guys i interviewed around like 55 people up to today but they didn't select why because we required the real time employee the fake why because that real time employee is doing whatever log uh, whatever the manage the uh, other people okay so but in the billing wise we need to show these people to in front of client so that is the situation now so that's the if you reach at least my course i'm explained out of 100 at around like 80 percent guys if you reach 40 percent if you reach 40 percent you are eligible for the real time employee uh, environment okay getting the job is very 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 easy in the sales force but surviving sir. so that's what you learn here surviving is difficult not difficult guys if you are practicing whatever i said it is enough more enough not enough more enough so that's the reason don't go through the trial badges and everything whatever i explain please follow those things okay thank you guys guys anybody having any questions we'll see you tomorrow guys thank you happy weekend guys